Hello, my name is Andrea Sanchez and today we're going to be reading Benjamin Franklin, written by Andrew Toffoli. Benjamin Franklin, a curious fellow, was born in Boston, Massachusetts. As a cub, Benjamin loved to read books and think new ideas. Benjamin would read... and read as many books as he could get his paws on. All this reading made Ben want to print his own books. As he moved to Philadelphia to find a job as a printer, and he did. While working long hours on the printing press, Ben dreamed of having a print shop where he could create his own books. So Ben worked and saved, and saved and worked. And worked and saved, until he had enough money to buy his own print shop. The first book Ben wrote and printed was called Poor Richard's Almanac. Ben exclaimed, this almanac is full of weather and information I will do wonders for your education. Ben was very helpful in his community. He invited everyone to read his books for free in his new creation called a library. He created a hospital where no one had to pay, even if you had to stay for more than a day. He opened a school for girls and boys and must found and most found it more fun than toys. And last but not least, to protect man and beast, Ben started Philadelphia's first fire department. Everyone in town would say, Your ideas are great and well worth the wait. And Ben will reply, If you think there is no more, wait till you see what I have in store. His next invention happened quite by accident while reading. Ben's vision had become blurry and he needed to find a solution in a hurry. So Ben thought and thought and thought and thought of a way to see clearer. There was no solution in sight. Until one day when Ben was thirsty, he reached for a glass, and much to his surprise was an ant four times its regular size. Ben excitedly shouted, reading took as long as molosis, but not how with my new bifocal glasses. I can now see far and near, and they fit perfectly behind my ear. With Ben's new glasses, he found it easy to watch the clouds and lightning for hours and hours. Ben dreamed that lightning had special powers. A stormy day arrived and Ben had an experiment in mind. So he found the perfect spot and raised his kite to the sky, hoping that lightning would pass by. The wind caught the kite and it flew into the storm. Lightning struck the kite and sparks flew from the key. Ben proved that you can move electricity. While Ben was making discoveries nearby in Washington DC, two groups were fighting over the rules for our country. So Ben arrived and united both sides so they could cooperate and create the Constitution of the United States. Ben declared, this simple piece of paper will be our country's image maker. And with this creation, we can build a better nation.
Benjamin Franklin worked hard to make his dreams come true and invented many great things for me and you. And the end. Thank you very much.